How's it going? Nice day. I guess nice day to sit out here and relax. Regret the pizza I ate. Don't need that. You know? Okay. If Ethan Ralph can lose pounds, can lose the weight, what the hell am I doing? I just don't care about doing it. Oh, man. I haven't seen the doctor in like two years. Shit. That's something I need to do this year. Not getting younger. Yeah. Good Friday. Friday. Jesus died on the cross. He died for our sins. He's the Lord and Savior, the Messiah. But not according to not according to the tribe that we can't talk about. The tribe we can't talk about. Isn't that something? Can you still say Christ is king on YouTube? Or has that been banned by the tribe? I mean, it is a factual statement. And it's crazy that by saying that, they say that you're anti-Semitic. Acknowledging that Christ is king and saying that, proclaiming that, sharing that truthful and truthful information cannot be anti-Semitic. It's not my fault that they didn't accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in their hearts. He came down for them. They were the chosen ones. They were the chosen people. He came down for them. They turn their backs on God. Can I say that? <laughs> I love the Jewish people. Go Israel. Actually, I don't give a shit. Go Israel. I don't really give a shit about that. be funny if God uh, it definitely wouldn't be funny if Israel was leveled by Hamas it definitely would not be funny right. hey you know how y'all doing how y'all doing this good Friday where's the ch you guys say anything you guys ain't saying anything I, I can't even see the chat Thoughts in Gahul's head? I have never been inside Gahul's head. So I can't tell you about what the thoughts are. They might be a little dark. It might be a little evil. Top favorite Jews in order? Ben Shapiro, PBP. <laughs> My top favorite Jew is Jesus.
he was the one. You know what? And they were supposed to. They were supposed to believe in him. They didn't. And they sold him out. They sold him out. Well, yeah. I'm not done with this topic. Though a scholar would be able to tell you a lot more, a lot more detail. We can all agree, as laymen on this topic, that it is quite weird, almost diabolical, almost sinister, that a certain cabal, a certain group, is telling us, as Christians, whatever, I consider myself, dude, all it takes to be a Christian is to believe in Jesus. That's all it takes. All it takes. Now, some may argue little details. Okay, whatever. If you accept Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Okay, and he died on the cross for your sins and all that. Okay. There's people out there, a cabal, a tribe, that's trying to tell us that claiming the truth that he is king is offensive to them, and because it's offensive to them, it's anti-Semitic, which is weird. I didn't think anti-Semitic was offending Jews. I thought anti-Semitic was having an out outright hatred of them. I don't hate them. I hate gays. I'm just joking. I am gay. <laughs> Can't say that. I'm joking. Can't hate myself. I hate those deer kin. How about this? I hate furries. How about that? Top three. Sweet baby ink games. Oh, I haven't really followed that. I know you're trying to get me on a topic that's a little bit more, uh, I guess, it doesn't matter. This, this stream is not going to be uh, ad-friendly. Were there ads before you popped on? As soon as I start talking about Jews, they, they, uh, they probably already de demonetized it. Top three uh, Sweet Baby Ink games. You know, I don't really play modern ink game, uh, modern, modern, modern games, really. So I couldn't tell you. The most recent game I played, as far as like, I think was, uh, I think Halo Infinite is the most, is, is the, I guess the most recently released game I've played. And that game came out like years ago. Though that was probably a Sweet Baby Ink game. <laughs> leader of Gamergate 2? Leader. I thought Kahoo was the leader of Gamergate 2. Gamergate 2. Apparently I'm the leader of the Council of Evil. Actually, I just want to start a council of good. Let's let's start a council can council of good and righteous. And we're just trying to bring like a positive energy to this. You know what? Let's try to have a positive stream. I know I talked about Jews earlier, but what? But does that make it not positive talking about Jews? I can be positive. I was trying to help Jews accept Jesus, and that's what they should do. I believe that the Jews are um, misguided and should accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in their hearts. And failure to do so, well, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna come, they're gonna realize. I mean, they're gonna realize in the end that they chose money over God. And. Uh, I mean, they'll, they think they're going to sit next to Satan's throne, but really, they're going to be sodomized on the daily. Did you watch the Halo series? No. Uh, I did not. I was not. In, it was not something that interests me when I heard that. Uh, when I heard that John 117 showed his ass, when he showed his ass, I was like, you know. That's one thing I could do without. I don't need 
John 117, Master Chief, sexualized for horny, stupid women. That's what the that's what that scene is for. That scene's for the for, for, for the women who are now uh you, you notice that like they have no problem putting like men in like sexualized positions and ways or whatever, but they won't let you they don't want you to have any sort of like cleavage or oh, oh was that a bee? Oh no bee oh, no I'm so scared there's a bee or wasp. You know how many times I'm stung by a bee while I'm riding on the motorcycle? You can't do anything about it, you're still riding. You have to you have to go get through it. My neck of all places. The jacket covers me. About like three or four times I can think of. And it sucks each and every time. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not interested in seeing Master Chief's ass. Master Cheeks? Now, if Master Chief was changed to a woman and she had a nice fat ass, I probably would watch that. Because at that point, at that point, it's, it's already fucked. You know? But... I know it's fucking crazy, though. I haven't seen it, but I heard a lot about it. That they made Commander Keys or Captain Keys, whatever, uh, a black guy, which is like, okay, well, you already had it. You already have a black guy in a series, um, Sergeant Johnson. But then they kill the black guy. They kill Commander Keys. Which I'm like, why would you do that? He's like, he's a prominent character in the series, and... He was your one race. I don't know how how if the other characters were race swapped, race swapped, but he was your race swapped character. You made him black, and then you killed him off in a really stupid way, like fuel or something. Um, the ship was trying to take off, and the jackals and whatever. I'm only describing the way it was described to me by the neighbors. Which, by the way. Hopefully with their consent. I've been thinking about what would it be like to do like kind of like a quasi reality streams with the neighbors. It might be really boring though, honestly, because it's not like it's not like anything really interesting happens. It's just like your typical like neighborhood dad stuff. You know, we get together, we drink, and pretty much we talk about what's there's a competition about who's gayer no no that happens but sometimes sometimes there's like work stuff sometimes we play dominoes or cards but you know You say boring over weird hot tub streams. Weird hot tub streams? Well, I don't have any plans to do a weird hot tub stream. Are you mean like review them? Or are you just saying in general? Is that Ben and Grace are going to do hot tub streams together? Whatever happened to them? I, I have not heard of Ben, our Grace, for like a week now. Is he doing okay? Not that anyone cares, but is is Grace doing okay? Favorite favorite B movie? Well, there's only one B movie. Actually, no, I think there's two. There's a sequel. Right? B, B1, B2? Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was lame, but he, but he set me up for it. What's your favorite B movie? Especially the way he even spelled it. What's your favorite B movie? So it's Good Friday, and I figured to celebrate Good Friday, I got two cases of hard AF seltzer. I don't drink seltzer, but 
this stuff is like 8%. First time, first time I'm going to drink it, right, for the first time. So to celebrate Good Friday, I guess I'm getting fucked up. I figured, I don't know if Jesus would approve of that. I mean, his blood was wine or whatever. <laughs> but I'm doing better than the Jews. At least I believe in him. They don't even believe in him. They don't even accept that he's a king. He's a king. There's also a TV show where Mr. Bean fights a bee. <laughs> you only have two beers left? Brucey, that's a problem. Because it's like, uh, well, what time is it over here? I don't have any way to tell time. This. My phone. I don't have a watch on me. You need to get more beer, man. You need to go to the store. Maybe not drive. If you do, you know, you can kind of gauge it. You know, everyone will say, don't drink and drive. But everyone knows. Everyone does at times. Right? Because how are you getting home from the bar? How are you going back to the store to get more beer? These are things, these are problems that have to be solved. You could Uber. You could get someone else to get them. Uh, or if you can kind of like, oh, I got this. You do you on that one. <laughs> no, but <clears throat> I really want to do a grace alert. I don't know what's going on with her. Oh, the Dymo. Well, he needs to come back, man. I was thinking today. I was going to do a stupid video of doing like some sort of satanic ritual to bring him back. I figured, no, not good to do on Good Friday. Look, I, I could pretend to be a Satanist or whatever. I'm wearing a Lovecraft shirt. Uh, any other day, but not on Good Friday. That's just too far. Good Friday and Christmas. That's just too far. Too much. Too much. But what I was thinking is, Dymo, Dymo, clip this out, send it to him. Dymo, let's do a stream together. For real. One stream. Maybe one stream, one video. One video. Okay? A reaction video. Alright? You can have it on your channel. You can have it, I'll have it on my channel. Whatever. You are the samurai, and I'm the naked cowboy. And we react to baby metal. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Do that. We gotta bring you back. We gotta bring you back, but without all like the negative drama stuff. We gotta move past the issues. We gotta move past what holds us back. We gotta remove the shekels, okay? <laughs> Cross to the other side of of making quasi normy content. <laughs> I don't know, but you could still be your weird character. Jesus had the bottomless keg. That's right, Fat Two Sixty Two, and we're gonna have a bot. We don't have a bottomless keg. But we do have two cases, two, well I say cases, but really they're more like 12 packs, two 12 packs of um, hard AF seltzer. I don't normally drink seltzer, but it's 8%. I figured that's that should get me pretty fucked up. Should not take long. Them B movie with Jason Statham. I know who you're talking about. Oh shit! That movie does exist. What the? F 
I almost forgot about the movie. I never, I have not seen it. I have not seen it, but I heard crazy shit about it. He plays a farmer, right? A bee, a bee rancher guy. But he still has that stupid British accent, which is his normal accent. I don't know why I said it was stupid, but but it's stupid that he would have that playing uh, an American like farmer. You know, it's not like a he, like it doesn't even try. I've got to protect the hive. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I got I gotta see that. That okay. The only time I've really used my Twitch channel is for watching copyrighted stuff because Twitch sucks. You know, you can't say certain words and whatever. You could show a lot of ass, so you could be a heavy coomer, and you can also watch copyrighted stuff. So. What I could do, this might bring both channels together, have a movie night. Have a movie night. We can watch a movie. Probably not. What was that Japanese movie I watched? Uh, Toilet of the Dead or whatever. <laughs> That movie was insane. I think it was called Toilet of the Dead. It was like a, a zombie film, except the zombies walked with their butts out, and a crazy, like, tentacle leech thing came out of the assholes, of the buttholes. Of course it's Japanese. Of course it would be a thing. Hey, seven people watching? New record. All right. Let's revive this channel. Let's put some more likes up there. In a little bit, I'll grab a hard AF seltzer and we'll start drinking. I picked them up. They were not cold, so they're sitting in the freezer. You know, if we did, uh, if I did streams with the neighbors more, we could do card games. You know, have the get a maybe get a laptop. And, yeah, that way I could stream kind of like on the go, wherever I go. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hi. <laughs> hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Society 1992 is a crazy movie. We'll check it out. What are y'all doing on Good Friday? Yeah, Brucey, good thing warning Adams. Good thing. I'm crazy. I'm insane. I get the cops called on me for threatening someone with a with a pick hoe. I'm being served papers. Which that whole thing I handled poorly. I admitted to that. Sorry, Dymo. Handled it poorly. You know, I think about that. If that was a poker match, that would have been so that would be the Man, I caught I bought that dude's bluff. And I and I bought it hard. Man, that was so dumb. But you can't you can't turn back time. You can't turn back time. It is what it is. But you move on. Is it move on or bite the bullet? I ain't gonna bite a bullet for that. What? <laughs> oh shit. So, you guys caught that stream of, uh, the, I guess, uh, the contest or who is better between Cog and. Uh, Cobra JFS. Well, I want to do more of it. I figured someone mentioned Surfer. We could do Surfer and, and Shaggy. That would be interesting. Can't really do one on my own. I'll, someone else would have to do a string like that.
The Pico Prowler. <laughs> I like that. The Pico Prowler. That's the name of my biker game. You like the cards and the powers idea? <laughs> yeah, they get they get uh, points based on uh, what skills they have. That cog is a bad is a bad guy. He's a he's a bad boy. Okay, it's dangerous. In the cards was also, I think, uh, I think it was one of the bonus cards. It was could could smoke marijuana without setting fire in a hotel room. <laughs> and that would be Cobra JFS, Call the King Cobra. He doesn't have that problem, but Gog apparently does. This is a story I think everyone already knows. But apparently, Cog on a honeymoon. With his wife or whatever, was smoking weed in a hotel room, and like, the, a fire broke out. They got smoked out of the room, smoking in the room in the hallway, and other people's rooms. It was so bad they were kicked out. You know, it was so bad. And, and here's the thing: Cog smokes weed every day. He should know better. He should know better. I mean, you do the thing every day. You smoke, you wake and bake. You don't have a job. And yet, you're so messed up, you're so stoned out of your mind or whatever. You, you set the hotel room on fire. So who started the fire? Talks are the fire. I'm curious if Cog will respond. I don't think he will. I think he understands that it's just a joke. Uh, maybe, but I hear that he can't take a joke. I'm going to try with the hard-ass seltzers in a little bit. We're going to... In case the kids were not here while I'm out. No, they're not going to run out here. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some hard AF. We're going to get messed up. Wait. I'm using my phone. <clears throat> What's the... I need to check my battery percentage. Oh, 65. All right. Well, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some liquor. Brucey, I hear you. But people, some people hate me. And I don't even know why. <laughs> I'll just, hey, be back. Oh, and my cat's over here too, or my wife's cat, I should say. Uh, she's became a uh, a character on the. Well, this that camera's all messed up. Hold on. It's a little better. Not even. It's all greasy. It has a a greasy lens to it. Wow. Wow. That's what I get for giving a hobo foam. All right, hard AF seltzer, pina colada. First time trying it out. I don't know if it's any good. I'll crack this open. Celebrate Good Friday. It's kind of weird celebrating the death 
of Christ been crucified. But it's not weird because you got to remember, he didn't actually die because he wasn't human. You know, he was, he was God essentially. He rose from the dead. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is definitely Pina Colada. No, no, no weird thing about that. It has a very strong Pina Colada smell. Mmm. Alright, here we go. Did I see how Andy treated Andy's ex girlfriend? Um, you mean that weird British lady? I, I listened to, I did not listen to how Cog talked to her, but I did see how, I, I did catch that interview with Ethan Ralph, and I didn't do anything with it, because honestly it kind of bored me. <laughs> there are some things I, I, I grabbed from it, but I was like, the woman, when she talks, and you know, I guess she can't really help herself, she like takes so long to like explain something. I mean, it's just... Just get to it. Like even even Ralph was annoyed with how like how wishy washy she was with it. Well, Cog is this, Cog is Cog, you know? Hey. Anyway, let's try, let's try this. <clears throat> oh, shit. Well, let me do the review. It smells like sun lotion. You know, some sun lotion sunblock has a pina colada smell. And it tastes like sun lotion. Like it tastes like you're drinking sun lotion. Hmm. Sunblock. No, it's okay. It's okay. Eight percent, dude. Let's let's drink this and see where we go. We might teleport mentally. Like I remember the, I'm gonna to try to remember the, the the main takeaways of that interview with Ralph, so we can enjoy them together, re revisit them. I think what Andy's girlfriend, ex girlfriend, talked about how he said he wanted to rape her. <laughs> well, ravage. He wanted to ravage her, right? And how he was kind of making her feel uncomfortable about wanting to spend time and live with her because of his daughters or her her daughters. Wow. Ah. Man. This is easy to drink. It's just flavored water. Like, this could get you screwed up big time. Man. Man, oh man. What do you guys say in here? No, but I gotta catch how Cog uh, talked about it. I can't really watch it while doing this right now. But I'll check it out. See, that'd be kind of cool to set up. Have like a way to watch stuff on out here, I guess. <laughs> if Cog would be better off flipping fish and chips. Well, problem is, I don't know if there's any openings, right? Isn't there like one fish and chip place at his, in his town? That's like the most popular place. Probably not hiring. 
So really, Cog should probably say, I can't get a job. I just can't get a job. There aren't any jobs around. They're all shitty jobs. Work one of those shitty jobs, I don't know. Move. You know, he wants to live in America so much. Now's the time to do it. With the open border. This is coming down to Mexico. Come on up to the border. He'll get deported, or not deported. he get moved to New York. You have a hotel room for him. And he'll get like, well, New York City's offering uh, pretty much welfare, like food stamps. What was his? Those EFT cards with like with, uh, that, how much how much was that a week? I forgot. I thought it was like four hundred something. Might be even more than that. You could do that. But let's take away, let's step away from talking about COG. I'm going to talk about someone. We're going to revisit this topic. The Dymo. I do want to clip this out, maybe. Like, I didn't. Dymo, I heard I made you cry. Well, oops, I'm sorry. Like, stop crying. Let's let's come back, dude. Hey, when DJ Axel was going after you, I was trying to help you. Now, of course, <laughs> when I gave him the warning, DJ Axel went even full on on everything, right? Right? At that point, it was like, okay. All right, you, you, you know who your friend is. You know what he's willing to do and, and where do you, where you stack with him. Like, you're not really friends. So, I guess, oops on that one. But, uh, you know, for what it's worth, I like the few interactions we had. Kind of saw you as, uh, yeah, a little annoying, but uh, in a playful way, until things went crazy. The thing you did with that band drag down, that Japanese band, was actually kind of funny. That was, that made me laugh. Like, so my reaction channel, there's this band I reacted to one time, and I wasn't really a fan of what. The, their music. I didn't really like it. So I I said that in the reaction video. I was like, I didn't really care for this. And uh, that band did not like that. And they tried to go after me of one, using their content without the permission, which every reactor does. So I told them like, okay. Like, I don't care about that. And you know that. And the other thing to try to get is that I was I was disrespectful to them, or that I hurt their feelings or whatever. It's like, like it's not my fault that I didn't care for the woman's singing or was growling. I just didn't, I didn't. And uh, you didn't like the way I expressed it, okay? And uh, <laughs> wouldn't that stuff? So apparently, somehow, I, I guess. I guess I did a video, like an apology video, to try to like mend things with that band. Be like, look, it is what it is. Like every reactor reacts without permission, and uh, okay, maybe I could express myself more professionally. Okay, okay, I'll do that moving forward. And I did. I think I did another reaction. No, I think I did. And I guess the Dymo. I didn't even know this. This happened. The Dymo did a reaction to that. And the band found out, I guess someone, I guess, I guess Dymo or whoever sent it to, to that band. And they, they, they thought I had, like, I was leading trolls. <laughs> they thought I was a troll, a uh, ringleader or whatever. 
like messing with the band. If anything, I think they got the most attention they'll probably get because they're not that good. They're not that good. Uh, uh, they, to me, they sound like just by any other, um, I guess, metalcore group. They, they don't really pop for me. But that was funny. I found that hilarious because, like, even when I tried to explain uh, to the band that, hey, oh, this is this is the Dymo, and they're like, who's the Dymo? I was like, okay, let me show you. And I showed him the image of him wearing the, the pink outfit. I was like, look, he's a clown. He's just messing with you guys. All right. And he comes back saying that I'm his mom. So the Dymo. I'm apparently your mom. I, first off, I didn't know I was a woman, but I, I guess I am. And I'm your mom. So, really, I gotta say, it's time for me to act like it. Come back to your mom, Daimo. Come back to your mom. Come to your mom. You need, you need, you need those nice, comforting mom hugs <laughs> so bizarre so weird uh, I liked it though a samurai defeated by a cat not even a Maine Coon but a regular pussy cat I guess the cat am I the cat I'm a wolf wolf try to get the other guys on the other channel to all buy wolf rings so I'll be a pack good luck on that you know those tiger cups <laughs> I actually sold a couple the tiger mugs the tiger cups Cat that got banned because of the cat. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about DJ Axel's cat. The cat that honestly no one cared about. It was so stupid. It's just a stupid cat. I don't give a shit. You know how little I care about cats? I'll throw them off the freaking table. Like, cats to me, I, I when I was a kid, Got to be careful with stories, you know. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had a bunch of strays, cats, not stray people, but stray cats. It like a whole litter of them, two litters, and they would like they had like their own cat colony, and they would fight each other. It was a whole ordeal. And um, so, and sometimes they get sick and get all messed up, but they're just like everywhere, like. And they get annoying. There's like cat crap everywhere, cat piss everywhere. Not in the home, outside, like on the front porch and out in the county. So I kind of grew up like learning that cats are nothing special, really, at all. I'll put on the the actor that comes to street. Oh, I love my cat. Cats are nice. People want to hear that cats are nice. In reality, it's like, get, get off the table. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be mean, but it got to be real. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, well, she got a TV. And right now, instead of using names, we're using codes. Call her, call her, um, what's a good nickname? But okay, uh, it was something that was added to her room. Um, you know, the other person brought it over. Your mom brought it over. You you got a TV in your room, yeah. but it's not as big. But your TV has a Super Nintendo hooked up to it. Yeah. So basically, me and Evelyn have. Well, stay right there. 
Go, don't cross this. Don't cross this area. Me and Evelyn basically have positive, positive things about their TV and and negative things. That's right. Positive With and negative. Mine, it's that it has something actually linked up to it, mm -hmm. it but it's really old. Oh, that's old, but it's classic. The classics never go out of style. Yeah. The Super Nintendo. Yeah, but Evelyn has a mo more modern TV, but it's she has not nothing good. hooked up to it. Yeah, yeah. What probably you won't. Do really, with it? nothing, Will nothing. Connect the Xbox to it? No, no. Oh, nice. the, the Xbox in the garage. That thing's messed up. Yeah, they the can't cross. Cannot put them on TV or TV. Can't put them on camera. Got to have nicknames. Everyone has nicknames, right? Adams. Adams has a nickname. Was it Charles or Darwin? Everyone has nicknames. Like, I do like cats, but like if a cat is on the counter, I don't like the cat on the counter. I'll move it. I'll move it off. And I guess. Lately, I've gotten softer on that. Gotten soft and weak on that. I used to, if the cat was on the counter, just move it off. You know, not pick it up and chunk it across the room, but just, you know, just push it off. It's a cat. They jump. They're nimble. They, they, they they're fine. Um... But... Since that cat has become kind of more like a desk uh, accessory, more like a like a co-host for reaction streams now, there has, I guess, a, uh, a this helped my relationship with my cat. What the fuck are we talking about? I thought we we're getting drunk over here, not talking about cats. If my cat died, if my wife's cat died, it wouldn't. It wouldn't even be a tear. Be like she's dead. She's dead. Where's the next one? I guess there's gonna be another. Oh, they already got another. They already got. They already got another. They got a new cat. A new cat. Thoughts on Dino Makeup Access Cat? The reality is, no one. The reality is everyone thought it was funny. Everyone thought it was funny. And everyone thought, I'm sure, everyone thought realistically the way DJ Axel acted was pathetic. Pathetic. It was a, like, cry me a river. I was only trying to be nice to keep the peace and try to be a peacemaker. Okay? But pathetic. If I was the leader of the Council of Evil, DJ Axel would be kicked out for being a massive pussy. Gotta work, make sure my kids aren't around. Watch my language. He would be kicked out for being a massive cat. The next Council of Evil meetup is going to be in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Gonna be plotting what we're gonna do with DJ Axel. I've been waiting on for Good Friday to say it. The crucifixion of DJ Axel. Shaggy hates Axel now. We well, should have from the beginning. We all told Shaggy. Shaggy's crazy. Shaggy's crazy. He's crazy, crazy. I swear, he's like Looney Tunes sometimes, you know? But, Shaggy has comedic timing. He does. And some of the crazy stuff he says is outright funny. Because he doesn't give a damn. Like, and you're trying to describe Shaggy as funny. So he's a Mormon. He claims to be a devout Mormon, yet he has spent 
and still continues to spend a lot of money on hookers. <laughs> uh, you know, normally when I say like hooker money, it's a joke. It's a joke. Like, have I ever? I could. I can't. I cannot tell you if I have. I would not. I cannot uh, confirm or deny whether I have. But um, you know, it's it that uh, what do you call it? I guess hypocrisy there is quite funny. It's quite funny. And I think it's interesting. And it, it gives, and I think that fuels like, it's just him, man. He's a, he's a funny guy, but he's weird. Like I wouldn't trust him with anything serious. <clears throat> But he's a funny guy. <laughs> like what he said about, uh, uh, how do I want to sugarcoat this? Uh, like what he said about, like, Columbine events. Things like that. I mean, the comments he said aren't like anything I've ever heard, I haven't heard before. Like, just edgelord, like, stuff. You know? And while it seems everyone, especially content creators, becoming more and more uh, um, censored and washed, because we are, even I am, right? Like him being bold and still using gamer words quite frequently and dropping, uh, you know, like Xbox Live language. It's just, it's great. It's great. It's funny. And the way he... Wait. The, uh... Hold on here. We're going to need another hard AF. I'm recalling an event. And I'm confused on it because I'm wondering if it even really happened. How much of this... This only one can, huh? Okay, that stream where the Dymo, it wasn't, I'm trying to remember this now, hold on, hold on, I cannot remember this little detail, that I'm, it was during their beef, the war over the cat, that whole saga. Was it the Dymo or was it DJ Axel that was talking to that shroom? It was it was the Dymo, right? It was the Dymo. It was something so weird. He was trying to do like a me too thing. It was trying to be like a Me Too thing with like Axel. That's what it was. That's what it was. And Shaggy was roped in that. They had like DMs. Uh, apparently Shaggy was talking to somebody. Which I heard those DMs were fake. I don't even know if those DMs are real. But I remember it being freaking hilarious. <laughs> That's what I remember. You like the win? Well, wife's home now, so now what you're gonna get is uh, who knows? And I'm gonna get another beer. Now I'm curious if I can mute the mic on this thing while I walk away. Let me. I need to check my phone battery. I do that here. Fifty-seven percent. Okay, we'll, we'll stream for a little bit longer. Good Friday, man. Good Friday. 
Yeah, spring. It's comfy. Yeah. It's better than being in a corner. So, there's no tiger painting behind me. Wait, I think this is the mic. Cool. I'll step away. I'll be right back. Have a long way to go. <sighs> That's always stepped away. I went to go get a drink and they actually came back. So, what now? What could we possibly talk about now? I feel like I'm just out here talking to myself. It's kind of what I am, right? What I'm doing. I'm outside talking to uh, a little rectangle. We're like across the pond, maybe, or somewhere. We're just hanging out talking. Think about that. How's it going, man? The only thing we can't really do is play cards or play dominoes or anything. We just talk shit. That's all we could do. And that's where we end up as men acting like and sounding like a bunch of women. <laughs> Talking about one another. Oh, so-and-so did this. Did you hear about that? If the Daimo came back and did his samurai reactions to the various stuff I react to, whatever, he could probably do a really good job. It's a funny character. At first, they may not like, they may be kind of like, is he legit? Is he, is he weird about it? But like, like, I kind of want someone like that, someone who's just a character to do that, because lately, in the, in the reaction sphere, I've been seeing all these channels pop up, and it's insane to me, because they seem to pop out from nowhere, and they do have, like, legit professional-looking, like, setups, but it almost looks too good, and I'm like, guys, this is ridiculous. Like, like there needs to be someone who clowns it out, and, like, just smokes all of them. He could probably do it. He's a weird character. I don't know though. It's all up to him. It's whatever he wants to do. That's the problem with the Council of Evil stuff. Like, no one ever really did anything. Like, he'll be like, oh, I want to make content. But the content was always like talking about other people. That's all it was. It was just drama stuff. It's like, okay. Gahul would actually try to do something. 
have a stream about video games. Even though people were bored of it and didn't really care. There was actually a few times where he did a... He did that video. It was kind of intricate and kind of long. That's a pretty decent editing to it. It had like some like... Um, Metal Gear Solid references in there. Oh. Right now, it escapes me what that video was even about. I, I remember it being kind of funny. And that's what I thought. You know, the diamond... Oh, not diamond. But Kahul actually has like... He, he has something there. The Dymo, like myself, would make videos in his house. Little videos, whatever. Yeah. In some ways, I kind of figured... I thought we were very similar in that way. Make a lot of stupid short videos. <laughs> Which is odd. You know, he has a... He went to school for that. I didn't. I don't really care, you know. Yeah, he does cool movie reviews, man. We... He does, he does cool movie, movie reviews. That is a, that is true. Get some more likes. We got four likes. It'd be cool if you could play like a game together. Something simple. The cards are dominoes. <laughs> true crime. Any more true crime is becoming like horror stuff. A story I talked about in my one of my previous streams about the um, I guess the incident in New York. We're in the home. There are squatters there. There are squatters, okay. And in the home was blood everywhere, like a mess. There was like flesh gunk in the sink. This was based on like police reports and reporting of it right um, they try to charge the squatters with desecration of a body and moving body parts or whatever tampering with evidence whatever but they didn't have anything on them because they couldn't prove based on what they had at that moment that they even murdered the person that was on parts blood and everything all around the house literally on the walls they couldn't prove at that point that there was a murder, so they let them go. I think there was an ankle monitor, but those things don't even freaking matter, especially at net, right now, because they're not they're not putting anybody in prison. N no one like that anyway. It, it's crazy. So I know based on stories like that and the way things are in like New York. Now would be the perfect time if you ever wanted to have your homicidal fantasy. Like Shaggy. Shaggy. Now you could live your dream if you want to do that. You can go to New York. You could be in someone's home. They try to stop you. You stop them. And you, you just do whatever you want. <laughs> I, I mean, it's insane. It is. It's squatter's rights, bro. <laughs> it's squatter's rights. It's my right to be here now. I'm taking over. We're being replaced. You're like, oh, that's just a theory. That's just a theory. But, oh, you're being replaced. Like, literally, they could take your home and make you disappear. Well, you're not really disappeared. You're like, you're all over the house and wall. Literally. And the cops are so stupid now, so, um, so, so soy, <laughs> that they're not even going to bother to investigate it. It's 
madness, man. It's madness. Well, what was the... Trying to figure out where to go from there. <laughs> Talking about the squatters and the crazy crime in New York. I don't know what the end game looks like, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's walling up the city and just turning it into like like a massive uh, thunderdome sort of thing. Would not be surprised by that. Getting a call. Someone's trying to call me. I'll answer it later. Half of the half the squatters are Jewish. <laughs> kind of going back to the beginning. What we're talking about it's weird you can't talk about them you can't criticize them you can talk about other groups you talk about them but like it's anti-semitic you don't even have to talk about them you could just tell them true statements like Christ is king and they'll be like that's anti-semitic like, bro, it's true. That's my AC. We're gonna be hearing that for a while. Yeah, we need some, need some Freon, some, need some work. Had some AC guys come out here and look at it, but uh, they were supposed to come out again, but they they have not called me. How bad is that sound? Yeah, yeah, I'm squatting in my neighbor's yard right now. I don't live here. I'm just squatting. I actually don't have a home. I don't have a home, guys. I don't even have a family. Like, uh, I'm allowed to live, stay here. As long as I do the house tours. Tolerable noise? Yeah. Well, you get used to it. You kind of have to. You don't have a choice. So I guess more people should squat then. Based on what you're saying. Like, take advantage of it. Squat more. Man, I'm not going to have it. I mean, you do what you want to do, but if the laws are there and it's very easy to do, and I guess take advantage of it, I suppose. Embrace the, uh, I guess, do it. Play the rules and win. Why pay rent when you can just be there? Why buy a house when you could just, hey, the house has been for sale for quite a while. No one's there. No one's ever going to go there. I'm just going to start living in that home. <laughs> Gabe Hoffman's. You should start a GoFundMe campaign. So we could fundraise. Wait, we'd just be fundraising the, the amount of money it takes for the travel to happen. 
as I'm thinking is we could turn that um, the house, that fancy house of Gabe's into a palace for Cog and Mersh. Maybe others. Maybe other maybe other struggling you know uh, bums could have the palace that Gabe has. That'd be cool. I'll support that. Because it's take gas money, flight money, travel money. I haven't seen this place. Gabe Hoffman. The only thing I know about him is that if you start talking about him, he'll, uh, he'll try to cancel you or something. Well, good thing I'm protected by magic. Check my messages. Just checking my messages. Man, so how's your good Friday, guys? How's your good Friday? I think, uh, I think you might be out of things to talk about here. Had better Good Fridays? <laughs> you had better Good Fridays? What happened on this one particular Good Friday compared to others? Girlfriend break up with you? Car problems? <laughs> it's Good Friday, but on that day you found out you were fired? <laughs> oh, that would suck. Like, what in the world? I was off today. It's an off day. Why am I fired? <laughs> yeah, that's the cell. Of go cool shaving his head. <laughs> the whole council's here, actually. DJ Axel's here, too. It's also the sound of a black dragon. Uh, I have kids around. Uh, the black dragon thing. DJ Axel doesn't actually live in the shed in Norway. He lives in my closet. I fist them every night. Just fist them. With the ring. It's polished though, it's clean. Because he licks it too. Gross. Nasty. Nasty. No, I haven't. I think Kiwi Farms still up. I mean, they're not getting rid of that. I don't have a problem with farms. Just about everyone checks out. Everyone in this sphere, anyway, orbits the farms for stuff, but. I only really go there for like clips. If I'm looking for particular clips, I'll navigate the forums, the like discussions that they have. Like, usually, 
they're off the mark, or they're they're involved in some other stupid discussion. They totally miss it. I'm like, just give me the clip. I don't really give a damn what you guys say. You guys are kind of retarded. But anymore, really, there's been clip channels that have been, been more reliable and a better source. Like, like for the cock stuff, uh, v, uh, Caesar, this channel. For for the Thorpe related stuff, well, Shamu is great. Shamu is amazing on that. Shamu. I mean, but also Shamu gets credit because he was there day one. I remember those days. I'd see all those guys watching that stupid crap. I was like, why are you guys watching this? It's like a stupid. At that time, I thought it was like a. I thought it was. Dude, I thought it was some weird YouTube experiment. I was like, this this looks like some stupid reality show. Why are we watching this? But it was real life. It was real life. Thanks, Casey. He'll get better. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you kind of watch stuff in the background. A lot of us do. I do the same thing. Uh, normally, when I'm watching streams or whatever videos... I watch it maybe like 1.5 speed, set it down. I don't really watch, I'm listening to it as I'm doing work, just typing up reports and notes and stuff. So while I'm working, I got weird conversations going on on the phone or, you know, from the, the, the stream I'm listening to. It's a little bit of everything. Like, lately it's been stuff about, what, that Sweet Baby Ink? That was like weeks ago, though. Uh, a little bit of that. Sometimes mad at the internet. Sometimes I'll catch up. Every now and then I'll listen to, like, Kino Casino and see what the hell they're talking about. Because I'm sure it's topical, but don't want to... I can only listen to Warski and PPP for so long. Because it's like, 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 especially if you like know who they really are, it's like, come on, man. But you can't deny they have a, they have a good thing going for what it is. I'll check out anything new on Naptown or any new clip from Shamu. One thing I couldn't really ever get into was the whole like Star Wars like hating grift. Like, like, I can't, like, I get it. Like, I'll listen to a lot of that stuff, like, Geeks and Gamers, and what was that guy, um, the, the drunken, um, the Critical Drinker, Critical Drinker. Like, I'll listen to that stuff. I find it kind of interesting. But at the same time, like, why, though? Because I already know I'm not going to watch, I don't have any, I, well, what intrigues me is like how far it goes from like I guess what it used to be with Star Wars. But I also watch it. What I'm more intrigued by was how far these guys could run with the 
let's be critical of everything Star Wars, which I get. It's a, it's a lucrative, it's a lucrative thing. It, for me, it would be like, well, like Star Wars sucks now, and like how, <laughs> like what is there to really say? I mean, it's just it sucks. But I guess if you have the ability to dissect how much it sucks and all that, uh, then definitely. Maybe still do it. Maybe get in there because unless it's all taken up. And the reason why I'm amazed by it is because, like, I, I'm a fan of Star Wars, like, like the original trilogy, like the, the original trilogy, right? But even with that said, I recognize it's a stupid story. It's just—I don't think any of you guys are like hardcore Star Wars fans. Not a fan anyway. It's a stupid story, and it's a stupid premise. Uh, like a long time ago, the galaxy far, far away. You have these people lo using lasers in space. Choo, 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 choo. Uh, you know they have spaceships that look like pizzas, and uh, there's uh, like a force. You know, can move things around. Woo! Then later it becomes like a whole order, a whole religion in space. Ah! And they have like light swords, they have laser swords, so they can use. They're like so. It's like it's like wizardry, magic with lasers in space. I'm like, okay, it's entertaining, but like, I wouldn't. <laughs> so, with that mindset about. The movies, even the original trilogy, you could see why I wouldn't really care if like other movies like did things radically different to the point where it's even more ridiculous, because it's still ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he only liked it as a child. As a child, it's easy to like, you know. You watch it later, and it's like, oh, okay, this is stupid shit. Holy crap, this 8%, I'm feeling it. <laughs> this is can number two, They're only halfway. I'm feeling it, how, how am I feeling? Like I had, like I've been drinking. Like, <laughs> I have been drinking. But you know, like I've been, like I went to Chili's and had like two Long Island iced teas for lunch, and then went back to work, feeling kind of tipsy and nice. It's just, this is dangerous. Yeah, greatest ally Israel. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's cool if you want to collect it. Hey, hey, don't, hey, I'll say Star Wars. When I say it's stupid, I don't mean like you can't be into it and all that stuff. Even I am into it, like especially the old trilogy in the in the old games. But they're fun. It's fun stuff, and it's fun. They're cool characters. Like Han Solo is a cool character. Darth Vader is a cool character. The stormtroopers look cool. All right, the spaceships look cool. They they do. Um, it's cool stuff, man. But it's you know it's just a bunch of make believe in space. It doesn't make any sense. So, like, but usually the criticisms are like about like the gender swap or no, the, the whole like Mary Sue thing, which I'm like, well, I mean they have a female main character. And she's going to be able to do everything. Because of course she is. You know. Whatever. Because what can she not do? Oh my god. She'll save the day. Because even in the old movies. Luke couldn't do everything. I mean. Eventually. He kind of did. But. But he didn't need, need to do everything. Because like. Because he had actually. He actually had support. From the supporting characters. They actually. Did their own thing. To kind of help them or be be at the right location at the right time, right? Like, 
Luke didn't just appear and start piloting the Millennium Falcon. That didn't happen. No. Han was like, no, this is my ship. I know how to I know how to pilot it. She takes special care, special treatment. No one else is gonna do it. You sit your ass back. Or you go hop in the gunning chair. Figure it out. It's a button you aim. Figure it out. That's that's understandable. You know? Oh man, Luke got his ass kicked. He lost a freaking hand. Okay. Uh, he went through shit. He, wait, even in a what's the, The Empire Strikes Back. Not only did he lose a hand, but in the beginning of the movie, he was like, he was taken and dragged by that like ice monster thing, the Yeti. And he was saved by Han. Like, they wouldn't do that for, uh, what's her name? Ray. Ray wouldn't be in that situation. No. <sighs> because female characters are just badass now. That's what's fucking stupid. That's where you take, okay, it's a bunch of make believe in space, and now you're gonna go. Women are always great. Freak a joke. It was a freaking joke, you know? Let's think about it now. But yeah, the Star Wars grift. Not doing that. Luke. Luke. Yeah, Mark Mark Hamill is a piece of shit, yeah. He, he's really hard on the Trump derangement syndrome, which, hey, I don't care where you lean now politically, but it's like, <clears throat> dude, this, what's going on now, is a goddamn shit show. And they're trying everything they can but assassination so far to stop the other guy. Like, they, like, what's going on? They want to keep going on, and they want it to get worse. I don't want that. So, I don't care what Destiny says. He thought it was a good idea to be polygamous. He doesn't know what the fuck he's... What's good for us. <laughs> Watch, man. Some fuckery's gonna happen. We all know it. Some fuckery's gonna happen. Come November. <laughs> Destiny 2026. Oh no. Oh shit. What are destiny policies? He would still be streaming all the time. <laughs> Wearing pajamas. He wouldn't need a press sec a secretary. He would handle his own shit. He would like, debate me, bro. Debate me. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. This election year is going to be very interesting. Hey, I said it before. Come back here for the kill stream. It could definitely be. I'm a Gamergate 2 and election year. Shit. Like. Ethan Ruff has burned a lot of bridges with everyone he knows, right? But if he could start connections with other people who know nothing about him, that have pretty good podcasts, maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way. I don't know. 
I don't really care one way or the other. I want to say is, uh, if you put some money on Killstream reviving, put some money on that, there might be a chance. If they let him back in, I think they let him back in. Here's gonna be some talks. They're gonna try to control him. hardcore. But he can come back in and we can use it to further our agenda. That's crazy. That like these these people think like that, but they do. And they're not even they're not even elected. They're not even politicians. They're like this rich assholes. I don't even know all their names. You know you probably know more about their names. I just know. You have like a bunch of rich elite guys, one of which is German, which is crazy, getting together like it's some sort of Dr. Evil thing, coming up with what they want to do with people. And part of the agenda, is this, is this part of it, right? Part of it is like what, to reduce carbon? Hmm. In hunger hmm. in poverty hmm. take those three things just those three things you want to reduce carbon you want to end poverty you want to end hunger how exactly are we doing that I, with the reduction of carbon well, in order for us to feed a lot of people currently, we're going to produce a lot of carbon through oil and, you know, energy and all that. Because to get the food to people, to produce, produce the food and get the food to people, unless you reduce the carbon in another way, like people. People. I think uh, part of the reason why they want a World War III, a real one, is just to just have populations just be wiped out. Honestly. I mean, think about it. The players right now that are fighting, you could, if you wanted to, try to break a deal. You could. With, like, Hamas and Israel, that might be a little bit more difficult, but whatever. But, like, you could try to work out a deal. You could probably make something work. But, no. 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 Let's keep it going. Let's keep escalating. Let's drive it crazy. And let's do weird false flag things. Weird ops. Like, uh, I don't know if that was a false flag thing, but the uh, terror attack in Russia, that whole thing. I mean, let's say this. Let's say there was Ukraine. Let's say Ukraine set that up. Let's say Ukraine set the terror attack up. They're losing. They're losing their war. So their idea would be to sneak people in to just gun down a bunch of civilians in a mall. To do what exactly? Convince them to stop the war? Since when has that worked? Normally, when countries have a uh, experience a massive terror attack like that, when a lot of people are slain innocently, it's not, oh, let's stop, it's, oh, let's get them back. Oh, now let's go even harder. 
remember when it happened to like America with 9-11 and that whole thing was like a frame job you know it wasn't even Iraq it wasn't even in any of that shit right but like use that fervor use that 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 rage from that moment wanting to be justified wanting to avenge after a terror attack, people don't go, oh, all right, maybe we should stop the war, maybe we should be peaceful. No, 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 no. It's like, okay, they want, they want blood. Let's do it. Let's go all the way. Make them pay. So if it was, if it was Ukraine doing that, you know, they did that, like, really, really dumb. Really dumb. Craig could win by summer. There's no chance. I just do not believe that. There's no way. What do need? More money? There's just no way. Russia has the, the manpower. And but even I mean Russia hasn't even used all of its might yet, dude. Like, there's no way. They outnumber them. <laughs> Germany thought the same thing. When Germany Back in World War II, was trying to fight Russia. They had them. They had them. I mean, Germany did a lot of damage to Russia. They were screwed. But they came back. They came back hard. They came back with everything they had in that desperate moment. That changed everything. Of course, of course, there was the Russian winter that really helped. But Ukraine can't even do that. Ukraine can't even push Russia back. It's, it's just this is a bunch of stupid shit. I mean, Putin doesn't want to nuke the place. He wants the place. He wants to be able to use it. He can't use it if it's all nuked and radiated and shit, you know? Why are you comparing Ukraine to Nazis? Is that what you think I just did? Katsy, I'm gonna ban you for being retarded. If that's if that's what you think I just did. Ask what can anyone else in the chat help Kazi understand why I made that comparison? Because there are two people that have they're fighting Russia that they had fought one had fought Russia, and one is currently fighting Russia. And Kazi believes that Ukraine can win? I'm not banning you right now for being retarded. Honestly, there's no chance in the world that they're going to win. No chance. How could they win? How? How? How could, it, how could they possibly win? What you're doing is you are encouraging, like, okay, there's that scrawny kid in school who's, who's being bullied, right? And you're encouraging that kid, that scrawny, wimpy kid, to just continue to fight back against that bull of his. He's gonna get, he's gonna get smoked. He's gonna get his ass kicked. Okay, I'm banning you, dude. It was not about Nazis, dude. You're just retarded. All right, he's gone. Sorry, I got, I got to get rid of the retards. I have, I've got to. Like if that's what he thinks, I'll free him. I'll free him from prison, for, from from jail. But but if that he what he just did, he said I compared them to Nazis as if they were Nazis. He did not understand ex what I was saying at all, at all. If that's a takeaway, he is a, some stupid ass motherfucker. Okay, stupid ass motherfucker. That's some leftoid shit right there. Are you calling them Nazis? Actually, Ukrainians are fucking Nazis. How about that shit? That shit? That shit is real. Maybe not all Ukrainians are Nazis. But it's true. It is very true. There is a there is a neo-Nazi element in Ukraine. It's right fucking there. Jesus Christ. They're not Nazis, bro. They're not Nazis. Okay. And I don't care if they were Nazis or not Nazis. That wasn't even the point. I don't give a shit about that. 
is about they're fighting Russia. And I made a comparison to, hey, there was a time when Germany fought Russia, and Germany was winning. Germany thought they could win, but guess what? They fucking lost. And they, they took them. Germany did a lot better job fighting Russia than what Ukraine is doing currently. They were able to push Russia back pretty hard, right? But no, they got their ass kicked. And that was, you know what? And that was Germany during Germany's like best like military time, right? They got their ass handed to them. Okay? And Ukraine now, with our money, with our weaponry, can't do much? Come on, man. It's over for Ukraine. Anyway, man, these hard AFs are good. It's two cans. I feel my, my cheeks getting warm. Getting that nice tipsy warmth. Oh shit, this stuff is dangerous. This shit is dangerous. Anyway. It's been a good, good Friday, guys. What are we doing on the streams here? Uh, battery life, one shit battery life. 42%. Gonna have to. You got your crates and tea? <laughs> Is that better than booze? Oh, I'm not drinking booze. I got kratom tea. <laughs> Good Friday. I'm sure Jesus would, would approve of kratom, right? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I don't remember anywhere in the Bible where he said he wouldn't. Specifically. I remember he cursed a fig tree for not producing figs, which is kind of weird. There were there were a couple times where Jesus lost his shit. He flipped tables and was pissed off. Pissed off and mad about it. Homegrown tobacco? Now that sounds nice. That would be the one thing I'll try to plant. <laughs> tobacco. I've, you know what? I have not thought about doing that till now. It actually seems like a decent idea. I, I don't even know. What does it take to grow tobacco? He's saying they're figs. He, the fig tree was a metaphor for Israel. <laughs> great as Ally Israel. You are you are great on that. I'm gonna get some home grow I'm gonna I wanna grow my own tobacco. Can I grow my own? Does anyone do that? Just grow tobacco out in their backyard? Or is that somehow, in some way, banned or illegal? You know, depending on where you are in the states, there's some weird laws that sound strange, but they exist. Like, in some places, it's illegal to collect rainwater. Yeah, some places, it is illegal to collect rainwater. Now you can collect the rainwater. You can use it to water your plants. You could use it to drink. I mean, you would have to. You would have to. I would, I would boil it. Yeah, you know. Um, I wouldn't just drink it outright. You would have to kill the bacteria in it. I mean, if you drink it outright straight, you know I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna shit yourself. But you know, a law like that, you think, 
why is that there? Because who does it hurt if I or other people start collecting rainwater? There's also laws like apparently it's this actually happened in Houston. There was like this house that was like off the grid. Like it wasn't tapped in. That they weren't using electricity. And the people were living there just fine. But apparently that's illegal. That doesn't make any sense. But that's illegal. Like you have to be tapped in using the electricity. Paying for power. If you're not paying for power, you're not paying to play. If you don't pay to play, you can't stay there. <laughs> hmm. Who does that law benefit? I don't care if some family is living in without power somewhere in Houston. I mean, I don't give a shit. Yeah, they want they do not want self sufficient people. That scares them. That frightens them. Waco had that once. It was a whole compound. And they went in and they fucked them up. Good Friday. Good Friday. Remember, yeah, they want us to be dependent. That's true. They do. They want us to be dependent on them. It is the Matrix, bros. You got you got to take that red pill. You got to. You got to wake up. It sucks on the other side, but you got to wake up. I say that, but I'm not waking up. I'm part of the Matrix too. We're all we're all plugged in. No one, none of us is waking up. We're all plugged into this thing. You know, even if you had a choice to live outside of it or to be to remain in, you'd remain in. The food's better. Even if it's all just make believe, the food's better. The Bible says not to share a well with your neighbor. Yeah, you should have your own well, huh? Well, yeah. Like, but you, you can share a keg, though. Wait, that doesn't apply with kegs. Like, do I get my own keg? Am I? Shit. Next time I have a keg party, but bring your own keg. The Bible says not to share a well. I'm going to, I'm going to translate that as keg. That would be too much beer, dude. That would be... Oh, man. I messed up. Anyway, guys, this has been like almost a two-hour stream. If crazy still listening, I can still I can release you off the jail. It's just you gotta. I wasn't saying Ukraine was Nazis. I don't care if they are or not. That wasn't the thing. The thing was it was a comparison between two people that have fought Russia before. One's had done it. One's currently doing it. That was the point. That was the metaphor. That was the comparison. Your inability to see that when I explain that clearly, just makes you retarded but we all have retarded moments we all do oh i took a fucking picture of me with a pacifier in my mouth a long time ago completely forgot about it we all have retarded moments we're human dude we all have retarded moments we all share we share our pants at times i did not shoot my pants this stream but sometimes sometimes it happens you just get over it so Going back to worshiping Christ. Where Christ is king. Let everyone know that. Especially if they're Jewish. Because it's our job as Christians to try to convert Jews because they need to see the way. They just need to see the way. We can help them out. We can help them. So they can be 
they just accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I think they'll be much happier. And they'll enjoy a great afterlife. We're just trying to help them. They'll call us anti-Semitics, but we're just being good Christians. We're trying to help them. I don't want them to be in hell being sodomized by Satan. I want them to be in heaven with us and enjoying the fruits and the wine and whatever else happens in heaven. I'm sure it's a great party. I'm sure it's great. With that said, y'all take it easy and have a good one.